Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. How is everybody doing today? Are you doing good, Pontus? I'm doing pretty well, and you? Doing good. I'm doing super. Thank Do you. Do you think we should much. scoot over to the right, maybe? Which, you're right on my right. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. You come this way a bit because yeah. you're, you're always like sat in the corner doing uh, your. Doing your angled yeah, keyboard I playing know, that you do. I know, yeah. I know. Maybe camera also, we should move. Camera? Yeah. What's up with the camera? Oh, we're in the middle. Oh, you mean the actual yeah. thing over here? Yeah. I, just oh, I want to see how the UI looks. <coughs> Pull up the UI. The UI? Yeah. Okay, I, we can come a little bit to the left. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. You can just <coughs> poke at my HP level every mm? time it goes out. So you can, like. <coughs> yeah, I'll just, like, push yeah. pushing you it down. You can push it all the <coughs> way to one. <coughs> Then we know. Like so. Anyway, hey guys. How you're doing? Lots of hellos in chat there. Nice to see. Nice to see. So, how's everyone enjoying the January update so far? Lots of sweet, sweet uh, bug fixes and improvements went out yesterday. Oh, yes. Yes. They did. Hmm. Charlotte has Monster Energy Drink ready and some potato chips. Mm. Ooh, crisps. Mm. Sounds like my diet right there. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I can go for some fat salt. Yes. Delish. Um, let's see. Do I have anything fun to use? Mm -hmm. I think I used it up all last week when me and Matt were chasing rivals. Oh, did you? Yeah, we did. This is always the same thing, Pontus. You come in unequipped. No, I did. This is my <laughs> regular save file. This is real life. Yeah. This is real life, right? This let's is the real uh, life. This is just fantasy. I don't know anymore. Caught in a land I don't. Slide. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on? We missed you, Graham. I missed you guys too. I missed you all as well. Which leads me on to a point I do need to tell you all about, actually. Right. Which which is sad, but I will I will be leaving uh, Avalanche Studios and Generation Zero in about a month from now. So th I'll only have a few streams left in me, and bef after that, it'll be Pontus's. Lovely, helpful face you'll yes. be seeing all the time. You'll and be, yeah. uh, you'll including be my all the Discord. Cute problem. Sorry? That'll be my little cute problem from <laughs> now on. <laughs> Indeed, but yeah, I'm not that sad because I know I'm leaving you in very good hands. Pontus will be uh, on like Donkey Kong, <laughs> handling business. <laughs> I'll and, do my uh, best. Making sure all your feedback continues to go to the dev team as if as if I'd never was here to begin <laughs> with. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, you're going to leave a, a big shadow on the wall behind you, man. You tr you trying to say <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm thick? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna leave a neat and and tidy little um, little shadow behind mm. you. But yeah, I will in fact be moving back to the UK uh, after ten years in Sweden. Um, I will be joining another game s studio over there. So um, yeah, that's me. But again, Pontus will be here. Pontus will be representing and taking care of all of you awesome folks. <coughs> So great, great, <laughs> great way of setting the mood. Cancelling the wig order now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh. Where can you sign up to get your job? Well, actually, we are recruiting right now. That's yeah. a logical thing to talk about. If, so, uh, if you uh, been checking out our social pages, you would have seen yes. a neat little ad. We shared that a couple of times recently. Otherwise, avalanchestudios.se, I believe you can go to and look at available roles. But there is a Generation Zero community developer role open right now. It is. Um, Take yeah. a look. Take with you some Yulmust. Oh, without a doubt. I say it's <laughs> like one of my favorite things about Sweden. <coughs> How long have you been working for the team? I've been at Avalanche for about two and a half years, I think. Maybe. Yeah, two and a half, I would say. Major already applied. Oh. Why don't we make Graham do the playing since he's leaving us soon? I'll tell you what, next week we'll jump on my save. And yes. we'll uh, get to it. Uh, I'll show Pontus how it's done before yeah. I leave. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need someone to uh, give me a good lesson on how this is done. Now nah, you're doing good. Doing good. Uh, why am I leaving? Um... <coughs> One part is I'd like to go to a country that's less dark in the winter times. <laughs> so it's a very personal reason there. I mean, England isn't exactly the Caribbean, but um, you get a few more hours of daylight each day. And also, um, yeah, I mean, I say it's I've been a stream of ten years, trying to do something new now. It, it's not the product at all. It's not you folks. You, you've all been amazing to work with, and I love working with GC. Ever since I heard 
like what we'd be creating with Generation Zero is like that ticks every box I'm interested in. It's uh, mostly, like I said, about me wanting to, um, yeah, move around IRL, let's say. <coughs> You'll all miss you. Well, I'll I'll miss all of you as well for sure. But you know what? I can still. Uh, I can still pop in on the streams as a civilian. <laughs> yeah. Make fun of us. Yeah. <coughs> Doo -doo -doo. Right, let me close this door before we... Uh, Hunter Andrew's saying, I wanted you guys to make be aware that this update took away a lot of our things in our storage box. Do you have anything to say to address this? I do not, Hunter, because you're actually the first person I've heard that's reported this issue. Yes, haven't heard. That uh, I've seen. So it doesn't seem to be a widespread... Th oh, no. Uh, Anders, Ander Hugason is also saying the same thing, so perhaps there it's is an empty. issue on that. All right. Yeah, because I've seen nothing on the forums about this. Nope. Nothing nope. on nothing Discord or the Steam or our own, uh, um, What platforms are you playing on, folks? Um, Ander and uh, who was it? Hunter. What platforms are you playing on? Consoles? PC? Um, when are you guys going to fix some glitches? Asks PVGB. Did you see the update we released yesterday? Lots of fixes there. Of course, we do know there's more to come. But um, we're, we're continuing to do it. <gasps> How did you get in here? I closed the door. Sneakily waiting for you. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. My poor, poor heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, PS4. Okay. Um, and Anders on PS4 as well. Okay. I will um, get that looked at. Come on, what's that? So we haven't really been seeing many reports of this right now. Uh, but now we know. I will do this live. I will tell our QA folks. As never seen before, live bug reporting. I've done this plenty of times <laughs> before. Uh, but yeah, very sorry that you're having this issue. We'll definitely look into that. Um, yeah, I'm glad it came up because, uh, as we said, we haven't heard a, a single thing about that. So, uh, thanks a lot, guys. So, all of a sudden, right. I got the right. hell of a lot hey, of... Hey, Schneeble! Okay, Ander, we'll check out the PS4 group. It does seem to be specifically PS4 that it's occurring in, though, which is very interesting, because normally the platform should all behave the same. But we'll definitely uh, get that checked out. Uh, Jakob on YouTube is saying, I really love the game. I'd really like to 3D print some of the machines. Any chance to release the 3D models? Mm. There is actually a chap who's been posting to our Facebook group some insane 3D models of tanks. They oh, are yeah. so good. It's I don't know how he got, got out the models. I do not pretend to know the, the technical uh, fiddling involved that allows you to get them. Um, However... But he's, he's making a tank like this big. It's huge. Super cool. It's... Amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It was so impressive. Yeah, check out posts on our Facebook page. Uh, you should be able to see it in the history. Du -du -du. Oh, yes. Uh, folks uh, talking about what the surprise was. So, originally, we did have something, something fun for you to be uh, falling around with. That should have come out yesterday. But we weren't quite happy enough with it to release it, so we're going to sit on it a little bit, and we will see it again in the future instead. So as a kind of, um, sort of consolation prize, we uh, and subject to the feedback we got that some people kind of missed out during the Christmas period, we've uh, reactivated the holiday event instead. So all the new people that came in can now get those goodies. And those who are perhaps spending time with family and have the time to play, have a second chance to get at them. But that was kind of, like I said, a consolation prize more for the main thing, which we're going to sit on, and it'll come out again at a later date. It, it's, it's pretty fun, and we would rather we got out to you right first time than it misbehaving and uh, yeah. So uh, we'll put a pin in that. 
and it's going to come back in the future. Oh man, this rival is here. Uh, Mr. Belden, to answer your question, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll do a quick recap of what the question was. So basically saying one of the patch notes was that we updated missions to autocomplete if all of the previous objectives had uh, that were required had been achieved. So this means that if you've perhaps not had a mission complete that should have done, you did the action and for some reason complete, now we'll retroactively fix that for you. So you just have to log in and it should update. Uh, Tenebri, I don't know if the if the surprise itself will come up next update, but that's fine because we have another one for next update instead. So, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of talk about the police outfit on Facebook. Is it meant to be a rare and/or secret outfit? So, uh, police outfit. One of the devs will correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that's locatable on the mainland area. Uh, there were two outfits that were released with Alpine and Rest. Uh, one set you could find on the Alpine and Rest area, one set back in the on the mainland area. And I believe the police outfit is the mainland specific one. Uh, it's not something you can really directly farm for. Just get out there, play the game normally, destroy machines, and hopefully you'll get lucky enough to grab it. Uh, how's my dog? My dog is awesome. Thank you, Logan. Uh, We'll be getting experimental attachments in the future. Um, Ooh, that's uh, that's pretty, pretty good fun. idea. I yeah. mean, obviously, we kind of dabbled in that way of the high-tech stuff with some of the um, optics. But yeah, maybe um, experimental attachments could be cool. Did I not have a... All right, let's... Uh so flying objects, that was one that we of course gave some attention in the update yesterday. That was uh, misbehaving, but right. it's now working nicely. <coughs> so let's try it out. Should be down here somewhere, I think, is it? Yes, it is. Do we have anything remotely close to that to travel to? We can go back here, I guess. On yep. your bike, that's what yeah. I say. Yeah, because <laughs> I get a rival here, so I can't really do that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's scoot around it down. Another question you probably get a lot. Yes, we do. Uh, will you add more vehicles like a car or motorcycle? So we've always said in the past that we didn't want a car or motorbike initially, uh, mainly because it just gives you a means to plow through all of this world building and stuff that the dev team have created without ever seeing half of it. And it can trivialize a bit some of the encounters as you zip straight past them. Whether that changes now that you're all getting more familiar with the world and you've been playing with it for now almost a year. Um, whether that changes, who knows? Perhaps in the future we could mix that up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not something that we don't think about, that's for sure. It'd be awesome to make a baby laser shark pet that you can tame. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, pretty please. Yeah. Uh, did you even need to, uh, to ask that? Yeah, see last week's clips for our rendition of Baby Lady <laughs> Shark. <laughs> <laughs> was it common to have red toilets in 80s Sweden? Rauthweg, it was common, I think, 80s everywhere to have terribly <laughs> colored bathroom installations. My in-laws, actually, they have this house up in the way north of Sweden, which you know was built in the 60s or something, and they started dismantling it. They were going to sell the land and things, and they apparently they have this bathroom, which... Is, it's apparently worth a lot of money, but it's hideous. It's like the most horrible green you've ever seen. Oh no! You know, like it was done in the uh, in like early eighties. Yeah, they like um, green and like some oh. some stupid yellow or brown. Browns, <laughs> yellows, greens. Yeah, red too. Nasty, yeah, nasty. all mixed together in the same room generally. <laughs> yeah. Mox says, I feel bad. I haven't played the new patch, but Kerbal Space Program has grabbed me and now I'm trying to learn rocket science. Well, to be fair, I love a bit of Kerbal myself, so uh, I, I, I can't be too angry. But you definitely should come back and check out the update because it's fixed all kinds of nice stuff. Um, not only bug fixes, but in terms of the way the game feels in some respects, people have already been talking about some of the sound improvements um, mm -hmm. just before our stream I saw. Um, and the fact that you can now reload whilst running about definitely uh, adds a little bit more fluidity to when you're fighting the machines. Gonna so. make my life a lot easier. That's for sure. Any plans to add NPCs, says Harry Hood. Well, if you have Alpine Unrest, you certainly can meet NPCs. Um, they were um, 
yeah, so our first foray into having NPCs in Generation Zero. So if you have that DLC, you'll be able to meet some, uh, some neutral NPCs and deal with some missions through them. Um, chances are we could expand on that for the future into the mainland area, into perhaps new territories, if and when we might come to them. Uh, yeah. So I'm curious, what are both your favorite games to play? Uh, Generation Zero, The Hunter Call of the Wild, The Hunter Classic, um, Rage 2... Just cause. No. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You uh, know, you mentioned all my favorite games. Yeah, are you uh, stalking me? I, I play a bit of everything, to be honest. Yeah, uh, I same here. No right now, I've started The Witcher again because I was watching the Witcher TV series during the holidays. I play a lot of Magic: The Gathering Arena, um, which does have some some benefits for the new role I'll be moving to. Um, the Binding of Isaac is a game that always, always pulls me back. It's such a great game you can just flick open and play for a short time. Um, yeah. What about you, Pontus? I play right Stardew now. Valley. Stardew, <laughs> of course. I always yep. play Stardew. Um, I play Etherloop, which is also super mm. silly little, uh, little fun game. And um, what else? I don't I think that's it for now. Mm? I haven't played my other games. We had a bit of a, a Call of Duty phase for a while, didn't we? After that we came did, out. we did. Yeah. Uh, I need to re revisit that again. Yeah, me too. I haven't played in maybe two uh, weeks. Something uh, turn like around, that. let me look at those air mats. Having just purchased two myself, I just want to see what the. These are super These luxury. Are I yeah, can they tell are. You. They are pretty blingy for 1980s. Yes. Um, when yeah. I was in the in the military service, we had to sleep on uh, yeah, pretty much grass. Mm. <laughs> No, actually, it was uh, pine, pine. Uh Mom, I want to buy an airbed. Yeah. Son, we have that airbed at home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Planning on trying Warcraft 3 with Forge now. That just came out. Mm, might have a dabble. Might just have a dabble. Yes. We need weekly Pontus challenges added to the game. I think, uh, VTech Gaming, you are very correct there. We need to add some more... <laughs> uh, more challenges from the community managers to the general public. Yes. And then one day we might get the situation where we can actually d achieve them ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. Uh, can you imagine? Mm -mm -mm -mm. What a glorious day. Daniel Radcliffe, we are fully aware of your request and I have been reminding the team frequently. Don't worry about that. Just please bear in mind that in-game development a lot of how we do things is often in terms of like priorities. What can help the most people uh, based upon the work that we do? Uh, who What has the most requests? How long does everything take to do? All number of things can dictate when something might happen. But we definitely have read your request and uh, I remind the team about it every week. I have this big document of things that the community um, basically brings to us in streams, in Discord, forums, Facebook, Twitter, social media, you name it. Um, each week, I have a meeting with the team along with Pontus, and we remind them, here's the list of things that's come from the community. So just have to tell us once. We just have to acknowledge it once, and then we're always going to have your back from then onwards. Don't worry. And the devs, of course, they love to listen to you and react accordingly. As we can see by all the goodies that came in the update yesterday, I mean, listening to community feedback is very close to our hearts. So. Mm -hmm. Any idea if there's something in the pipeline for raising the XP level? I think um, experience, progression, that kind of thing, will definitely be having a look at it at some point this year, I would think. I uh, can't say specifically if it will be us raising the level cap, on the other hand. Um, but watch this space. Well, there should be some attention, I think, given to that. Mm. Come on. Can we have an experimental magnum called the Pontus? Ooh, yes. best idea today. Yeah, yeah, it has like a curvy ban barrel and it shoots, <laughs> shoots you in the face when you pull the trigger. <laughs> it's like one of these old clown weapons where you shoot it just a, a, a flag that goes bang. Goes and a flag pops out the front. <laughs> uh, the Ultra Pontus. Oh, I love that. Best idea ever. Thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, Belden, um, activities to do once you've repeated the game is definitely something that we are looking into. I mean, you'll notice over the past updates that we've done, a lot of the content and changes we've added have been doing 
have been offering more activities to do to the type of player, not only whilst you're playing, but perhaps when you've gone through the missions and, and that kind of thing. Like, you know, rivals, challenge trees, this kind of thing. Um, so you can expect more of that this year. I mean, this last year, 2019, a lot of our time was spent polishing, making improvements based upon your feedback as a community. And I would say that 2020 now is definitely a year for us where we can start to be adding more meteor chunky things now that we've, uh, you know, set up a really good base to build on, let's say. That's a good answer. What are some things you guys are wanting to bring the game, bring to the game? I mean, as a dev team, everything. Yes. <laughs> a dev team will always want to do everything. Uh, whether the, we can realistically, on the other hand, is, um, yeah, that's another thing entirely. But as community managers, what would you like to see in the game, Pontus? I would like to see something that makes all our players happy. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know what that is, though. Now, to be to be frank, I'd like to see something uh, with the, the interface. You're going to be frank, but you didn't do it in Frank's voice. What's <laughs> up with that? Uh, something with the, with the inventory would be nice. Mm. Uh, just auto-stacking or whatever would, uh, would make it a bit more easier. Otherwise, I think I'd like to see a new machine type, not just a class, mm. but a new type. Mm. We've been talking a lot about that. Maybe a big flying one, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like a flying one who actually can fight back rather than call his friends. Um, I like to see experimental Magnus called the Pontus. Um, what else? Ah. I want to I see a that. new vehicle, like a spark thing. Ooh, just, uh, yeah, that's yeah. a that's good Swedes idea. will know what that is. Yes. Um, <laughs> if you design an experimental grenade, what ability would it have? Uh spikes. Like it would be like cluster, what do you call it? You mm. know, like a pipe bomb with I don't know, stuff in it that would get extra range. I think mine would explode money. Are we talking about real life grenades or <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh tick. I don't know, a fun grenade. Confetti. I would like to I would like to see a, a good old uh, trusty petrol bomb. Ooh, like a Molotov? Yeah. Ooh, that would be awesome. Mm. I like that idea. Yes. I think they they would narrative wise fit in pretty good, easy to to um to make stuff like that. That would be fun. Am I lost in this little house? Mmm, blood pudding. Blood pudding? Yep. Mm, and no is, is that ling on silt? Or it, looks like it must be ling on silt. Yeah. There is only one kind of silt when it comes to <laughs> <laughs> eating with your main course, let's say. <laughs> yeah. Who would win a tick sized tank or a tank sized tick? I'm, I'm going to go with a tank sized tick. Yeah, but the question you really want to ask is like, which would win? 10 tick sized tanks or like 500 tank sized ticks? Well, no, the other way around. You know what I mean? You, I can't help but feel the miniature ones are going to need numbers on their side. So. Mm, this looks dangerous. We'll be seeing more sidearms in the game. Uh, Bob, hard to say specifically, but of course we would like to expand on many parts of the game. Uh, weapons being the most common way you interact with things in the world, let's say. It, it might be quite logical that we look at more weaponry. Um, sidearms specifically? Uh, hard to say. I mean, the thinking with weapons so far has been um, very much, uh, except for experimental weapons, because of course they're a little bit more special. Um, a lot of the base weaponry are the kind of weapons you could expect to see in 1980 Sweden. Admittedly not in someone's kitchen drawer or wherever <laughs> in some cases, but in some shape or another they would have been represented, be it farmers used them, hunters might have used them, maybe the Swedish military weapons of the time period. Um, we've stuck with that so far. Whether we continue along this vein or whether we start to open up other avenues, who knows? I mean, I don't know if Desert Eagles were ever used in Swedish military, for example, or in civilian life during the 80s. Um, I think they're originally an Israeli gun, I think. Oh, no idea. Yeah. No idea. Mm. Got the handwritten note <laughs> with, with the, the doodle. doodle. Oh, look at this. 
Christina Eriksson. I used to work with a girl once who was named Christina Eriksson. I, I, I would say that, like, as far as the laws of averages are concerned, it, it's probably obvious <laughs> that anyone will, at one point ever will work with a Christina <laughs> Eriksson. <laughs> like a like a Johan Eriksson yeah, as well. Or <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, just some names that are common. Um, go north to... How many ticks could a tank size tick if a tick size tank could tick? That is a that is a question. How many Yeah, that's uh how many ticks could a tick 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 I don't know, the doodle of a windmill. Alright, thank you. Add a laser pointer to mark positions and distract machines, please. I just have this like mental image yeah, of like a like big cat with or cats. Or what? <laughs> 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 have, like these runners chasing after a laser pointer. Oh, yeah. Any plans? Add plans. We have plans for plans, Harry, for sure. Planception. No. I love me some car battery EMPs. They're pretty decent, actually. Mm. But I'm gonna be a little bit too sneaky for uh, for car batteries. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, at least. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. You know, plans always go and they do. That's why yeah. I need to equip the smoke rounds here. Where are they? Uh, why don't robot clothes from the challenges protect my player? Um, stats and the benefits of clothing are definitely something I feel we want to give some attention to uh, this year. So watch this space. Um, yeah, I think that's definitely something we'd like to do more with. So hopefully we'll have something to tell you about that in the coming months. Will there be an option to drive slash repair the Strieg's van tanks? Oh, that would be neat. Yeah. <laughs> that was like the first thing I thought of yeah. when I, I, I saw Tank in this game. I was like, oh, imagine getting into that. Yes. It, it, it might make things a little bit easier, though. We might have to... But then again, the the machines did do a good job of uh, whooping the military, clearly. So, is that three hunters up there? Yeah. Mm. <coughs> oh, was it runners? Have you ever guys talked about April Fools events like confetti grenades or runners chasing laser points you discussed previously? I think um, again, now we have this past year of solid development behind us, and we're spending less, uh, like needing to spend less attention to say on uh, bug fixing, and we can start doing more towards content-related stuff. I think you'll be able to start to see more of these thun thematic. Did I just say thun? Thun <laughs> thematic, <laughs> fun thematic uh, sort of time-related events, perhaps. Um, that's not to say that we don't continue bug fixing, because of course we will. You saw the update yesterday. Um, but we have a little bit more wiggle room to do this type of thing. So let's see what the future brings. We also, of course, have our one-year anniversary coming up soon. So Oh, we do? Oh, couple, just a couple of months. That's nice. Which though. I won't be here for. That'd Aww. be so sad. I'll be cheering from the outside. Soundtrack needs more bad Swedish ace music like Lily Susie and Panilla <laughs> Wild Grin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lily Susie, come on. Oh, I'm surprised someone even remembers them. <laughs> That's the red toilet we were talking about earlier. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. There's also a little seeker out here. That's How about wire cutters to cut open all those annoying fences? That'd be awesome, actually. Just snip a hole in the fence. Oh, it's in the other house. Oh no. Is there any plans to add vaulting, etc., into the game? I mean, vaulting is a, a very big mechanic for us to make. Um, and again, we've always said we're not. We don't classify ourselves as a AAA game. We don't have, like, the budgets involved in that. Although, of course, we want to do as much as we possibly can. I think the amount of work that vaulting would require, um, in terms of sort of animation and all the other things that goes into it, I wonder if that would be what you'd wish we'd do rather than us doing other things like maybe adding new machines and this kind of thing. So, never say never, but I don't think it's our immediate plan. It's, a, it's a big thing to mm. do. And big things takes time. And yes. as you know, all right, then we need to prioritize. 
should we do vaulting or should mm. we maybe do a new machine or a new weapon or you know so we have to yeah <laughs> and also i mean that. vaulting definitely kind of puts into more of an action shooter territory which wasn't really what we were aiming for from the beginning um yeah <coughs> but it's not a bad idea mm -hmm. We'll be adding the dirt bike from the collector's edition postcards. So, the collector's editions um, they came with concept art uh, from, and you may or may not know, concept art's generally made even before a game starts to take shape in a lot of cases. So, it's lots of you know cool ideas and things that we you know thought would fit in nicely. Um, often these things may not make it till the final product. I, I mentioned about vehicles earlier in the beginning about why we didn't have them in day one. We'll see if dirt bikes appear in the future or not. I mean, of course, they're pretty iconic for uh, 1980s. You watch any 1980s action movie or TV hey, series, there's someone on a dirt bike. Terminator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could I do a video call for the one year? <laughs> um, I, that that would be up to the lovely people at Avalanche to decide, I'm afraid. I think the chat might have frozen, so bear with me, folks. I'm just going to refresh it. So sorry if you've said something in the last... Uh, Half a minute or so, we might have missed it. What's more 80s than BMX bikes? That too, BMX bikes would be sweet. Yeah. Ooh. I, again, I'm also in Team Skateboard. Find a phone booth. Phone home? ET phone home. We're talking Elliot. about 80s stuff. Saab Draken. Draken would be a cool addition in the future. Mm. I might have skipped a few questions, Jakob. Unfortunately, I had to refresh chat because it locked up. So, uh, again, I probably missed questions that was raised in the last half a minute. And also, I never guaranteed to be able to answer all questions anyway. Otherwise, you just get sick of the sound of my voice. And I, there's like a time-space issue. I, I literally cannot answer the questions in this, yeah, like, faster than they come in. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um... Have you guys noticed the scary amount of radios and boomboxes and houses and health packs as well? Um, that's being looked at. Yeah, that's something that we've noticed. So uh, watch this space. They might get some retuning. Get Graham to play. Yeah, it has been a, a while since I've been playing, actually. I do such a good job of all the, the chatting and question answering is the main thing. Yeah, you're a foxing pro at that. <laughs> and Pontus is good at blasting stuff. So we kind of <laughs> naturally gravitated towards our uh, different places. But... Let's let next week. Well, let's uh, get me in front of the uh, in front of system. the guns. All right. I, I really can't say if X thing from uh, concept art will make it to the game um, again because these are all concepts and by their nature are not necessarily intended to to be in the game 100. percent But they're of course something that the devs were thinking about one time. So who knows? And also, as you know, we, we, we never let slip on things until it's time to show you things, really. So what did happen in Lilloa? Indeed. Oop, not gonna... 14 persons killed mm -hmm. near Astevik. Oof. They were working for FOR. Yeah. Oh, shock out to some blah blah blah. Working for the FOA. Dr. Ingrid, oh no. And Svante von Ulmer. Mm -hmm. Ah, von Ulmer, oh. Mm -hmm. That fella. Alright, find any remaining. Alright, there we go. Add PvP, unfortunately, that's one thing that we can pretty confidently say won't happen. It's very rare that we say hard no to things, but. PvP is not something that uh, we have any focus on, I'm sorry to say. Plenty of great PvP games out there, though, for you to try if you do enjoy PvP. Unfortunately, GZ will not be the one. Alright. No help for uh, Mr. Bloom. Right. The tank's still stomping down. Yeah, so someone is... You did a good job sneaking about so yeah, far. Yeah, I told you I was yeah. gonna uh, gonna yeah. try that. I haven't mm -hmm. died once, was which must be yeah. some kind of record. Yeah, I mean we were like thirty five minutes in and you still yet to uh, eat dirt. To so. have died, but I don't think I have any shots, that's why. Aha. Uh -huh. Or do I? Nope, all out. Mm-hmm. 
However, I could stack some of this. Oh man, I found a lot of health packs. Hey guys, have you seen the videos your Central Game UK have done? I have indeed, Rusty Cow. I actually um, commented on a couple of them on Twitter. Yes. They were pretty cool to see. Look forward to seeing the next one. Hmm, where's Ingrid's house? Weren't they supposed to be here? Mm -hmm. some here. Ingrid! Dr. Ingrid! Would you guys consider making a zombie survival game? I would love that. Zombie survival games are my jam. Yeah, but I um, zombies no immediate overall, plans. I love. Yeah. <coughs> Seriously, people, do not keep your spare keys under plant pots. Uh, uh not a bad <laughs> idea. Uh, not a good idea. No. <laughs> oh dear, what happened here? Yeah, it looks like they did not have a good time. Well, Ingrid? or they did have a really good time. Ingrid. Ingrid. No. I think it was like my. I uh, was joking about that during Christmas time. I think it's like Hassan TV or something like that. A comedy program that used yeah. to be on. They had a sketch with this Ingrid thing, which <laughs> is why it came to my mind. Oh, that was so hilarious. Mm. Hassan TV. Oh my god. If either of you got a new location to the game, what would it be slash look like? It would be my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Which is actually going to be available for rent very soon. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Visit Graham's apartment. <laughs> uh, to take a Google tour. Oh, a little love message. How grim. Do I dare open this door? I do. Recent research notes. Interesting. Mm, how much does this game cost? Greg Hunter is asking uh, twenty four ninety nine, I believe, on Steam currently. Um, if it's on your consoles, check your console platform of choice. It's going to be a little teeny bit more, but um, yeah, it's going to be around the region of twenty five euros, twenty five dollars. Will an experimental LMG appear in the future? Well, obviously, LMGs in general have only just appeared to the game. Um, every other weapon class does have an experimental weapon, though. So, I maybe logically could think we might have one one day for LMG. We'll see. It would be fun. Is there any plan to make a new save, not just new loadout, but being able to start the story over, uh, says Odohut on Twitch. That's feedback that I've been passing back to the team. Um, definitely... You know, the, the saving system that we went with, the intention was, like when we sort of created this in mind, was that you could be able to have a different character any time and sort of switch up between specs without it affecting your story progress. Understand me, that's a bit differently, different to how some games do it, and which is, you know, obviously took a little bit getting used to. So we're, we're, we're keeping our eyes open to see about maybe if we can adjust that in the future. We'll see. Imagine a KVM-59 with three barrels that shoot in unison. Wow. Yeah. You, you, you would have to spend six hours of looting, <laughs> looting for ammunition <laughs> for about three seconds Ooh. of uh, <laughs> a three-second <laughs> burst. The thing is, imagine uh. the weight on that one. Why was Zaggy mad about 2.0 scoring in Call of the Wild? You are asking the wrong folks, Greg Hunter. This is, of course, uh, Generation Zero stream today, buddy. So, no comment on that one. If a new machine was introduced, what would you and Pontus like most? I would like my robot vacuum cleaner to be immortalized <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Codsworth, his name is actually. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I recognize that name from Fallout. another game. Yes. Um, what kind of machine? I'd love to see. I think someone was talking about subterranean machines one time. Like, you know, you see like this mole thing. Like, you know, like a Ooh. dirt trail come towards you and it jump out the ground and be all... Like an underground tick would be pretty neat. It's not. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Otherwise, someone had a great idea about uh, ticks that left flame trails behind them. Uh, I think I saw them on Facebook. They were discussing that. Had like a little fuel tank on it, so as it ran around, it would leave fire behind. I think that'd be pretty cool because add an sort of an environmental extra, effect, extra yeah. dimension to it all. Yes. Otherwise, of course, the baby laser shark would be good. Baby laser sharks always, mm. always. Renegade Hoover Hater. <laughs> Actually, mine's a Neato uh, robot. 
they're very good. Highly recommend. Best purchase ever made as an adult, I must say. <laughs> Uh, How do they do over uh, door uh, doorways? We have like, like one about this high and it climbs over it okay. Actually. Oh, that's impressive yeah. though. Mm. Oh. Anyway, less about my robot vacuum cleaner. I can't help. It's kind of on topic. I mean, we're fighting against machine invasion. Exactly. Imagine that if overnight all everyone's robot vacuum cleaners became sentient and uh, started angrily cleaning their apartments. <laughs> <laughs> extra super passive aggressive extra aggressive <laughs> cleaning <laughs> although to be fair sometimes it does decide to do it at 3 o'clock in the morning which isn't welcome Yeah. will any other islands be part of the game in the DLC or base at some point I mean there's definitely room for us to expand uh, but that being said of course there is plenty of play of like uh, map already so another option could be that we could revisit existing areas perhaps and you know tell stories with those we'll see we'll see that's an interesting thought though mm. come back to some place it totally changed still same map everything but mm. oof, new environments but uh, is there really a beacon here where 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 oh there Passive aggressive cleaning. Pontus made me spit coffee. <laughs> well, you best start passive aggressively <gasps> cleaning that coffee up. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, oh! I didn't see them. Four of them were just. Oh! I don't want to fight with them. Hopefully, there's somewhere I can hide up here. Well, there's this. It looks like I can. chasing you as well. Oh. So, you're not probably hiding very well with that thing behind you. Oh, my aim. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Come on, can I make it through a stream without dying? Would be like super awesome. Mm hmm. This is the Iron Man challenge. If Pontus dies, we're shutting down the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best to stay alive, dudes. So I just wanted that relay bit, but now I'm in over my head here. Oh, did I manage to escape? Looks I think like I did. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Still hear someone. I can still hear a tank though, sounds like stomping around somewhere. Mm. Alright, are we gonna try to do a little sneaky thing here? No, oh, that's the hunters. Yep. I have some of this left. Thank you. Hardcore God. mode, die once, delete, save, start over. Actually, um, one of our Discord mods was doing that a bit more. Uh, he was uh, doing a hardcore playthrough for a while, actually. I don't know if we ever if we ever managed to finish it. But it must be so hard. Like, imagine you played almost the entire game without dying in that hardcore mode, and then you do. Like, mm. imagine, all right, I spent now what thirty six hours playing this. Now let's delete my save file. That's that's and how start it goes. It again. That's how I mean. That takes. I love roguelikes, like courage. punishing. Oh yeah, failure conditions. It's all about it. But I, I don't it. know if I, I would like. Nah, I only died once. Maybe keep playing on this one. But that being said, I, I, I don't dislike myself enough to play like Diablo on hardcore. <laughs> that would just make me so mad. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, nightmare modes are usually mm. uh, nerve-wracking. How many players is the game thought out slash balanced for? I mean, it should be enjoyable between one to four players. Um, of course, individual player skill has a big factor in that and the kind of gear you're carrying. But, you know, uh, looking at difficulty levels of various sorts is definitely something we want to think about uh, this year. So It's a hard question to answer that immediately right now. So this is me using all my 50 cal to take out one seeker any word on enemies that teleport and size closed buildings behind players that's something that's got been a problem then was resolved and then come back as a little bit of an issue so it's definitely something we're always paying attention to yeah. so don't we worry saw about that. that in the beginning now yeah. so uh, yeah we're looking at it mm -hmm. What about stealth-based bot with cloaking abilities called a stalker, almost like a hunter, but skinnier and silent? That sounds scary. Oof. 
I mean, a lot of how the original design of the machines was very much intended to be, I mean, of course, there's a little bit of artistic license, but they tried to imagine how a machine could be using 80s kind of tech, which is why they all kind of are big and stompy and they're, they're not super intelligent cyborg type things. Um, stealth technology might take that fantasy a little bit too far, but, uh, but who knows, who knows? I mean... Been a long time since Vast. When do we get the beards slash Viking stuff? Good question. Good question. I mean, I've 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 been trying to raise Team Beard. That's for sure. So <laughs> we'll we'll see what the developers cook up. Oh. We'll do a casting call for beard models. <laughs> mm. uh, show us your best GC beard. G'day from Adelaide. Hello to you. Uh, to start playing this, G'day, is mate. initially quite hard when the first start. Is this game finishable solo or recommend your team of two, four players? It's 100% finishable solo. Uh, a lot of our players do uh, oh, play yeah. and enjoy a GC solo. I will agree. It can be a little bit tough in the beginning, but as you start to get your uh, skill points behind you and start picking up better and better items, it definitely... Uh, you'll definitely get to grips with it a bit better. I will say to you, don't go charging around like it's Call of Duty or Doom. But that's going to go not. badly. Um, it Generation Zero is very meant, much meant to be a kind of a guerrilla style combat where you want to choose your engagements. I mean, running away is a valid option. Uh, choose your engagements and sort of think about risk versus reward when you're going to fights. But again, as you start to progress and you get more powerful, get better gear, then you can start to be a little bit more liberal, li liberal with um, what you're fighting. <coughs> Uh, Saw, I mentioned about difficulty being something we'd be looking at. Uh, it's definitely something you want to look at uh, this year, is um, difficulty and what it means to different players. Because again, it, there's so many different variations about um, how the game can feel. Again, depending on if you're solo or with extra people, with different levels, different items. So, scalability um, is definitely something we'd like to take a look at. Can you please add it that so I can hit the machines with my weapons or hands? I do not recommend <laughs> punching steel. That's going to end badly. Um, Poor but knuckles. But jokes aside, I think a melee ability would definitely be fun. That's something that I said from day one. Is for me personally, if I got to decide, if I was, you know, game designer slash product owner slash producer for the day, I would say melee ability. But we'll, we'll see if we have one coming. <coughs> Actually hitting. Where did you get your ideas for GZ? Well, I mean, the dev team is for the most part Swedish. Um, it's being developed in Stockholm, Sweden. Um, a lot of the dev team are in that kind of sweet spot age-wise where they grew up in 1980s Sweden. So you have all this sort of 80s pop culture combined with the Swedish environment that our devs grew up in and shook it about. And then you got Generation Zero. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, you know, the, of course, like, what the enemy would be was thrown around as well. Um, zombies was kind of crossed off a list because at the time when we started development of Generation Zero, zombie games were kind of everywhere. Um, and machines were chosen because they felt like it was a good antagonist where we could represent the feeling of the 80s tech in them and that kind of thing. Yeah. Even though, of course, they are a little bit more in smartest places. Oh, there was some more. Make the boombox music a remix of the Laser Shark song. It would be a Pontus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I may unfortunately be leaving, but I will It would be royalty forever. free, though. <laughs> it would be royalty free ish. Ish, yeah. You haven't, you haven't spoken to my agent yet. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Oh, see, when I get up from behind, do ya? Boom. Boom shakalak. Punt is using my favorite gun there. Oh, it is it? I love that SMG. Yeah. It shoots fairly hard, you know, for being SMGs. Yeah. So. And I'll just love the sound as well. 
Ooh, that was a heavy, Ooh. heavy Dunked. jump. Oh. Oh, Come on! Not a place to do yoga no. whilst holding a grenade. <laughs> I was holding a grenade. <laughs> yoga whilst holding a grenade. Bad oh idea. No. Well, lucky for me, I just uh, uh, got this safe house. Just yes. You made it close. 50 minutes without dying, Pontus. That's pretty impressive, impressive right? That's impressive. gotta be a new, gotta be a new record. Oh, we got a new rival too. Yeah, probably one of these fellas. No, somewhere else. Is the name for Generation Zero have any reference to Transformers? No, it does not. Um, it, I think the, f the main thinking with that was like, you know, we're representing the fact that this is kind of the generation after the machines have killed everybody and yeah. Mm, should I go back? Yes. Hey, Sparky. Welcome, welcome. Just in time to catch the last 10 minutes. Has this gone Battle Royale? No, it has not. <laughs> and it will not. <laughs> <laughs> Best see a Graham NPC in the future? Yes. Ooh. That would be nice. I'll be the one cowering in the corner of a building somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Please, mommy. Actually, I'll, I'll be like the survivalist. Hit, or hit up in the woods with my little camp. and uh, yeah, I'm, pr I'm prepared. We got 19 rounds left. Oh, don't worry. I got other guns too. I'm just glad that you, it's nice to see you. Oh, oh no! Not oh, with the at least you didn't pull the pin this time. <laughs> uh, I'm just uh, re refreshing to see you not using the Magnus for a while. But there's so many of them, and they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Ooh. There's even one up on the far left on that ridge line. Oh. oh. Oh, come on. Oh, there's no more. I need to be kind of quick and cute here. Quick, and sneaky, uh, and dangerous all at the same time. There we go. Nice. Oh, I love the sound of that one as well. Mm. Do you think a prestigeism would work in this game? I think it would be a good fit, personally. That's something that I've been talking to the dev team, act actually, because, of course, you recognize that some of you are getting capped and still want to have progression. Prestige-style system could be an interesting way of uh, doing it. Compound bow, explosive tips. Yes! Ooh, a real rumble I, style. I, I'm an uh, archer myself. I too have a compound bow, so I, I would love anything bow like in the game. Yes. Stealth kills with cinematics. Unfortunately, that's probably not going to be likely, Constantine. Stealth kills could be possible, but the cinematic element is where the issue arises because uh, cinematics are very expensive and time intensive to produce, and it's probably more in the ballpark of a AAA game. Have you considered adding a battle pass to Generation Zero? We have not directly, no. I mean, but we do want to give you regular content regardless. Um, so there should always be something to look forward to each month. Yeah, battle pass more fits a kind of free-to-play-esque game, I would say. Yeah, also more kind of PvP, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, no, I guess you can tie it to a PvE game as well. Just anything cha challenge-based, I yeah, guess. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Who said Battle Pass? <laughs> Banish him. <laughs> uh. This doesn't look like Sweden at all. Well, you're the one in the minority there, Rusty Dog, because one thing I do recognize is pretty much any time I show a Swedish friend of mine at home, like, so you know, what game do you work on? I show him this, like, oh my god, this is just like how I grew up. Yeah, yeah. We, we all pretty much recognize ourselves. Mm. I mean, this was created by a very much Swedish development team. Of course, we have nationalities from all over the place, but uh, lots of Swedes in our dev team. <laughs> There's a lot of some of these locations. Some of the items are actually kind of based on real-world memories um, they had growing up. Yes, machines taking mm. over the world. For I think example. I've said a few times you have our game director's couches representing the game, for example. <laughs> 
This looks more Swedish than Sweden itself. <laughs> uh. Welcome back, Logan. Hey, Logan. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sopra. Oh, I'm so scared. Yeah, Belden. That would be uh, an interesting thing. Rather than PvP, do an asymmetrical PvP type thing where you have one person controls a machine and the other people control players. That would be pretty fun. Damn, I'm but so again, screwed. not the focus for us, but it uh, would be neat. Yep. Yep, I'm screwed. And maybe I could yeah, people still ask what the surprise was. Maybe I could have done that as the surprise was the fact that I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! <laughs> hey, happy, uh, happy surprise. That's the surprise, is the fact that I will be leaving. No. Um, oh, come on. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, maybe. Uh, and this guy's so <laughs> after me, so yeah, maybe. It's yeah. gotten very feisty towards the last 10 minutes. Yeah, here, I think I need uh, to hide. Yeah. Oh, and there's more here. All right, let's. Uh, the thing is, they run so fast. No doubt for anyone living in Sweden that this is located in Sweden. <laughs> yes, Stefan. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Um, I know, like, driving, as we're driving up to the north for our sort of vacation trips and stuff, you see the countryside. It looks just like this. Yeah. Right, maybe stop following me. Nope. Maybe they shoot some more at me. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Usually, kind of bad climbing mountains. Oh no, they get a lot. Well, I wouldn't stand there and gloat watching them. No, nope. I, I would still keep hoofing it if I were you. Oh, it's been a seeker well, here. That. Yeah, seeker. Right. Get a place, but oh, the safe house is so far away. Can you add a robot that can say, I will be back? <laughs> 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 It'll be called Arnold. <laughs> Can you add a new giant machine ten times bigger than the tank? Well, Ooh, that's that a that big machine. That would be something. Yeah. I, would, I just hate to think about the amount of farming you need to do to get the ammunition <laughs> to destroy that thing. Oh, yeah. Woo. You go on. Looting. Seven, eight hours. Like. Mm hmm. Lots of action up here. I know, they're all... Uh, while playing solo, are there NPC AI that help you along the fight? Um, there are not, but you can play with other people. Um, it's up to four-player co-op. Uh, but no sort of cooperative NPCs at this stage, at least. Will that change in the future? Who knows? But um, right now, no. Are bows available? Yes, Bo, we just spoke about them a while ago. They are not available, but myself as an archer would love to see bows in the game. Would you be able to add air vehicles to the game? It would add a whole new type of gameplay, like air battles and beautiful scenery a thousand meters into the sky. It would be neat, but the issue you will have um, adding air vehicles is the whole game has been designed, except for some explosive mistakes that can happen, uh, for you to be seen from a ground level. So I would imagine the dev team would have to take a lot of work to redesign things to be viewed from the air and take that into account. So. That'd be a really big, big undertaking, but it would be super cool. So, mm. uh, the surprise, I, I, maybe you missed the start, suicide kid. Um, the surprise, we was intended to go out to yesterday's update, but we didn't think it was quite sort of polished enough. So instead, we're going to sit on that and release it again at a later stage. Um, so it's it's not. It's not removed completely. It'll make it again in the future, but unfortunately it didn't come out this time. So as a kind of um, like uh, consolation prize, we did restart the holiday event that we ran during the holidays so that players who uh, sort of fed back to us that they didn't have quite enough time to pick up the goodies can get out there and do it still. Yeah, that's how nice we are. Yes. <laughs> yes, finally made it to a live stream, says Rand. Yeah, Unfortunately, well <laughs> buddy, we are about to wrap it up. Uh, Sorry to... Pretty much now, actually. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll end it with this beautiful, beautiful car. Mm -hmm. Just look at that. You did find the windmills, though, but unfortunately they were surrounded by tanks. Yeah, um. I know. <laughs> I, I didn't quite Yots. feel like uh, doing that right now. Yots. It's going to take a lot of uh, screaming, I guess, to clear that out. So. Mm. Just to be a nice guy, save everyone's ears. Yes, and I guess we will start to wrap it up there. Um, I will re-repeat, uh, just for those of you who missed it at the start, that I will be leaving Generation Zero and Avalanche Studios in about a month from now. Uh, moving back to the UK and to uh, another challenge, let's say. Um, but Pontus here will be taking the torch and continuing to be as awesome as he is now, but without me next to him. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so no worries there. Be business as usual in terms of getting all your feedback to the community. So, uh, yes. Um, just wanted to remind you, if anyone came in late and missed the beginning part. But I'll still be here for a month. I'll still be playing and um, hanging out with you for a month yet. So, Yeah. That's life. That's life. That's, That's life. life. Uh, thank you all for joining. Yes. It's been a blast a lot, as guys. ever. And we will see you next week. We will. We, we will. will. And I'll play next week because I promise. Yes. So, uh, yes. Yes. We're going to find some really nice Graham challenge for that. Oh, that'll be interesting. <laughs> mm. Anyway, take care, guys. Have a great uh, end of your day. Yes. Toodles, nice. folks. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming.